I'm sure some of you have played Grand Theft Auto and achieved a five-star rating in the game. In this video, I will show you instances where people have been involved in real-life five-star police chases. So let's get right into it. The first person on our list is involved in a police chase throughout the city, which eventually leads to a shootout. The SWAT team corners him in one place, resulting in a dramatic ending. I think we can go in just a little bit tighter maybe, Jamie, now that they're just dragging them out. I don't think this thing will escalate into any type of firefight. The suspect is down. The dog is out just in case. They have the suspect in custody. He is uh, going to be uh, cuffed here right now. They're looking to make certain nobody else inside the vehicle. They have to clear that, and it appears that is clear. But boy, what a dramatic standoff, an incredible one, especially since when we, the suspect was drug out. It didn't look like he had a gas mask, but yet he was able to still stay inside that vehicle. Uh, so we don't know if drugs are out alcohol were involved we don't believe this went to a i'd have to give this man a five-star rating because he's managed to attract the attention of the police helicopters the swat team and even the dogs mr speedster over here thought he was in the clear as he's zooming past these cars at a high speed but unfortunately like many people on this list he inevitably would soon meet his reality somehow he loses control and gets into a crash which allows the police to catch up to him As they abandoned the car and made a run for it, two of them were daring enough to leap off the bridge, leaving only one person to be apprehended by the police. With adrenaline pumping so intensely, they probably didn't feel the pain of their broken bones from that fall. However, sooner or later, they're bound to feel the pain. This next person was a lot smarter than those other guys you're gonna wanna see this play out. He's attempting to maneuver through these cars and cross the intersection. successfully getting under the overpass. It seems like he was aware of the helicopter tailing him. 10 freeway, now moving away from us here. He's under the freeway, under the overpass, right? He did not come out the other side. Did not come out the other side yet. This is always a tricky point. It's always a telltale sign. If they're looking to dump the vehicle, sometimes they will stop under the freeway. He's out of the vehicle. Finally, you can see the car on the other side, but with no one in it. Let's see what the reaction is like when the cop pulls up. And, I mean, God only knows. We, I, th this is a new one on me, guys. Try and open it. Try and open it up. Try and open it up. Is it okay? It's open, and here, here it comes to an end. This is the first guy on this list that was able to make their five-star rating go down to a two-star rating. That's very impressive. But this other person didn't have the same luck. This guy stole a minivan, abandoned it, and then made a run for a gas station. And he's going to try to run on foot now. The police closed in on him and surrounded the gas station, uh -oh. but he managed uh -oh. to steal a BMW, uh -oh. no leading to a high-speed no chase uh -oh. down the freeway. Uh-oh. That's what I was talking about. What? That's exactly what I was talking about. Oh. And there he goes. And and in a BMW, uh, you know, I, I don't know if this is a plus or a minus, but this is not good at all. He steals another vehicle, and finally, with nowhere to go, the cops are able to surround him. He's gonna get boxed oh, in. He's oh, gonna get boxed in. Yep, that, by the this is what bear. I'm talking about. Oh, and straight Ventura in the middle. PD, yep, the California Highway Patrol, Ventura, they do not play. I told you that earlier on, and they are really showing it to us again right there. Uh, and again, this is, you know, somebody might say, oh, that was on. It's not. He puts his hands up and decides to surrender. And you can see it right there. They, they got the officers. They got this guy down on the ground. Sure. I won't deny it. Stealing three vehicles in a single chase is pretty wild. The next person found themselves in a police chase during rush hour in L.A. He's already tried slamming into three separate deputies, and he is refusing to pull over. It just collided with that tanker shower, guys. You can see uh, the antics that this guy is already up to. We don't know what the original want was or how many people are inside that vehicle, but you can see him clearly trying to snake through traffic at, at just pure desperation, trying to evade these officers here. They attempted to weave through the cars, but they got trapped with nowhere to go. The police managed to corner them, leading to their arrest. Guns are drawn, and the officers punch through the driver's window, dragging him out. Driver who led them on a dangerous pursuit here, and uh, it looks like they've uh, forced him to stop. This one is definitely unusual because the police are chasing a U-Haul truck. 
At first, it seems like he's stopping on the side, but he tricks the police and presses on the gas. Let's see With traffic up front, the U-Haul driver becomes reckless and starts crashing into the vehicles. Now we're at the 5100 block, going about 20 miles per hour. We are in heavy traffic, trying to come up to a standstill. He is cutting off other vehicles and leaving for up to about 15 miles an hour again. The two cars, side-swiping two cars, anyway, southbound. We are almost at Hampton. Holy s***. Right, just crashed into a dump truck. Continuing southbound. The police decided to terminate the pursuit due to heavy traffic and a construction zone. I'm curious if they eventually caught the driver. His rating probably dropped from a five star to a two star for managing to escape. This next individual was driving at high speeds. This is some extreme driving, okay. hitting uh, almost 80 miles an hour here, continuing northbound. We were using that median lane, and now we're back on the right side of the lane. Now this driver's hopefully slowing down a little bit, going through uh, that, uh, you know, hopefully that. Uh, but the police caught up to him not long after when he ran into some traffic. Here's how the situation unfolded. Now It's gonna be hard to see here as we go under a tree. We're gonna see that car come back out, uh, out from that driveway from using that sidewalk. Hopefully LAPD was able to get around that car as well. And we're continuing northbound now on Crenshaw. Oh, they have the doors like open. And it looks like uh, we may have had some contact here between yes. the suspect looks vehicle like and that swat. silver. Suddenly, a good Samaritan decided to assist the police by ramming his truck into the vehicle. Almost in a panic oh, now, and a truck may be getting involved, possibly blocking him in. This truck... It's, 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 it's hard this to tell is, if this truck is trying to get involved no, or if this is just like accidental. It's absolutely but the, intentionally but trying the, uh, to get involved the, uh, in this. The police arrived with their guns drawn and instructed the civilians to exit their cars in case a shootout broke out. The suspect has his hands out, which is definitely a good sign. They did witness him toss one gun out of the vehicle, but they are uncertain if he possesses any other weapons, so the police officers are proceeding with caution. The suspect gracefully rolls onto the ground, which might suggest he's under the influence because that behavior isn't normal. However, not long after, he is arrested at the scene. The next person decides to steal a Rolls Royce in Los Angeles, and I really hope it doesn't get damaged. The driver is recklessly speeding, skipping red lights, and occasionally traveling in the wrong direction on the road. There was also some talk that maybe the driver also had a weapon with him, which makes this person even a bigger threat. California Highway Patrol backed off because of the reckless driving in the traffic area. As you can see, that is continuing now. We're very, very close to the, excuse me, to, to uh, Dodger Stadium. Right here, the driver almost collides with the Rolls Royce, but they avoid contact. Oh, look at that. This car isn't an easy one to chase. It's a heavy vehicle with plenty of horsepower. It appears the police are struggling to keep up with this driver because you can't spot a police car anywhere in sight. It seems the helicopter is the only thing effectively tracking the stolen vehicle. The driver soon chooses to navigate through densely packed buildings and enters a tunnel. The helicopter loses sight of the vehicle. Some time passes and the vehicle is spotted once again. Unfortunately, that was the last time they saw the vehicle as it disappeared behind a cluster of buildings. This driver managed to shake off all pursuers in this chase. If you enjoy true crime content, please consider subscribing to see more.